everyone i welcome you to this module 25th of the mptls course of unsdgs in this we are going to cover the last sdg that is the sdg 17 partnerships to achieve the goal so as you see the focus is on partnerships to achieving you know like all the goals you know, which are listed as, you know, like a UN Sustainable Development Goals. So, how exchange, collaboration and mutual, you know, like partnership, you know, is going to benefit us, you know, that's what we will discuss uh, in this one. So, it says strong international cooperation is needed now more than ever to ensure that countries have the means to achieve the SDGs. Yeah. It's a very essential thing because if you see, even if we have, you know, like all of these SDGs in place, okay, if we are not going to help each other to, you know, achieve those targets, you know, by every country, by every state, by every citizen, that's not a collective development, right? In the premise of, uh, you know, like SDG itself, we saw, you know, it needs to be, you know, like bringing everyone together and leaving no one behind, right? So leaving no one behind is the premise of all of these SDGs and this is possible only if we all help each other together and that's why you know this partnership is an essential thing in achieving anything like nowadays even in our uh, you know like a regular life if you see you know things are becoming so vast varied and uh, you know like intense that it's not one person's you know, cup of tea anymore. You require a teamwork, and there is always a teamwork, you know, which uh, you know, like a kind of you know, like brings you amazing results, right? So if you see this picture, is this picture actually denotes you know the, the, this feeling, you know, like the people from all sorts of ethnicity, races, regions, languages, you know, countries, and you know, like a, their own interests, this and that, you know, they all come together to be just human, right? and work for all of us you know together so that we can achieve you know like all of these goals together and partnership you know holds you know like that key well why you know it, it matters we'll see over here and what's the goal to revitalize the global partnership for sustaining uh, sustainable development to revitalize the global partnership why in light of the consequences of the global you know covid-19 pandemic we have seen that strengthening multilateralism and global partnerships are more important than ever if we are to solve the world's problems the sustainable development goals like in this pandemic also we saw how coming together and helping each other is going to bear fruits like when uh, this virus was you know like a first found you know Immediately, several research labs, countries, you know, they started working towards it to find its genome, you know, and uh, whichever lab was finding, you know, like those, you know, genome sequences, right, they were putting it on internet, you know, on those, you know, like a research, you know, like hosting websites, journals, etc., you know, as a free access, uh, you know, like, a, uh, you know, like a, a literature, you know, as a open access, you know, like material, so that any, you know, like a research, any other research lab, you know, can actually access that and if they want to continue or further the research, they can easily do that, right? So this cooperation was, you know, essentially needed because if every country goes and you know, starts the work from zero, okay, how much more time, you know, do we need to do all of that, right? And then uh, when, you know, like these vaccines were uh, actually, you know, like came into the picture, you know, like these vaccines were also uh, kind of, uh, you know, like a shared by, you know, like a uh, developed countries to the you know, like, uh, developing countries. India also exported its vaccines in huge amount you know, to the whole world, right? And so on. So we saw you know like a, you know like a such you know like a strengthening. If some uh, you know like a country was able to develop you know the uh, the you know like a, you know like those uh, vaccines ka, you know like a, you know components. Okay, it was man get, getting manufactured in some other country. You know some other country was actually helping it to distribute and and, and, and so on, right? So. Everyone actually came together, you know, independent researcher, companies, pharmaceutical, you know, like uh, units, you know, governments, you know, independent NGOs, you know, individual researcher, you know, educational institutes, you know, all of them actually came together to fight this. Okay, so one of the wonderful examples, even during, you know, like this uh, catastrophe, 
that you know like a partnership you know like definitely is essential you know for you know like our survival yeah <clears throat> we need everyone to come together government civil society scientist academia and private sector yeah everyone together even uh, you know like a manufacturing you know like a pharmaceuticals all of them you know like a you know like a companies also and individuals also you know because they oh they all have you know their own unique uh, you know like important roles in uh, you know, like bringing you know the, these things in the right place and helping each other well why does it matter to me we are all in this together agenda with its 17 goals is universal and calls for action by all countries both developed countries and developing countries so if you see like in the, the premise itself of sdgs is very very global you know and it includes everyone not just human you know other species also of flora and fauna all you know like living non living beings also such as you know like rivers mountains you know oceans you know like a forest you know everything so that's a uh, you know like a, a amazing you know amalgamation of anything and everything right uh, like you know never seen before so this definitely you know like a carries you know like a such a you know like a mammoth you know like a task you know to be handled that it cannot be done alone you know we have to come together how much you know progress uh, we have already made support for implementing the sdgs have been steady but fragile with major and persistent challenges financial resources remain scarce uh, trade tensions have been increasing the crucial data is still lacking the covid-19 pandemic is now threatening past achievements with trade foreign direct investments and remittances all projected to decline by up to 40% in 2020 okay so well there are existing challenges you know uh, which needs to be like addressed you know like collectively like uh, you know covid-19 you saw there was a, you know so much of decline in variety of like industrial sectors you know like unemployment you know like uh, and all of those things right a growing share of the global population has access to the internet and a technology bank for least developed you know countries has been established yet the digital divide persists yeah so some efforts are you know like being made like internet if you see is now you know like being made available in you know, like across the planet okay but uh, yes of course you know some countries have you know, like access to like internet in a much efficient manner you know per person there is you know, like a huge percentage of uh, you know like a per 1 lakh population and uh, yeah even the speed of internet is uh, very well in advanced countries but some of the least developed countries they are still you know like facing challenges in terms of you know like a, a latest technologies such as 3g 4g and even 5g now and uh, yeah uh, that digital divide so the digital divide is still there you know because of which you know they are unable to like you know access you know variety of things which are you know easily available over internet and uh, i'm sure like it is improving and uh, soon you know this will be solved you know bringing them also into this mainstream as partners what would we need to do to achieve this agenda we will need to mobilize both existing and additional resources technology development financial resources capacity building and developed countries will need to fulfill their official development assistance commitments so if you see there is commitment by you know like a developed countries to assist lowly developed countries in advancing you know their technology in advancing their you know, like a financial resources and capacity building so that you know like they can you know fend for themselves in future okay so all of this you know depends on uh, you know like a promise fulfillment by you know like advanced country that where it is crucial and uh, in many of the you know summits you may have noticed you know like this uh, pledge of a technology transfer financial assistance right and uh, you know like a capacity building for like a training programs right and exchanges of uh, like a researcher academician students and you know, like a civil society experts you know to the advanced countries so that they can learn and go back to their home countries and help it grow multi stakeholder partnerships will be crucial to leverage the interlinkages between the sustainable development goals to enhance their effectiveness and impact and accelerate progress in achieving the goals how we can ensure the resources needed are effectively mobilized and monitored is yes, a big question how do you know you know what is being done is really optimum and it is you know uh, going to bear uh, you know like a fruits this will be primarily the responsibility of countries individual countries reviews of progress will need to be undertaken regularly in each country involving civil society business and representatives of various interest groups 
At the national level, countries will share experiences and tackle common issues, while on an annual basis, the United Nations, the High Level Political Forum on Sustainable Development (HLPF), they will take stock of progress at the global level, identifying gaps and emerging issues, and recommending corrective action. Well, how can we help? Join or create a group in your local community that seeks to mobilize action on the implementation of, you know. any or all the sdgs maybe you can choose if you have you know expertise into some area maybe particularly you can work for that and keep a stock of you know like that sdg how it is you know like a getting uh, you know progressing encourage your governments to partner with businesses for the implementation of sdgs okay register your initiatives on the sdgs partnership platform to inform educate network and be inspired so there is you know like this platform even created by you know under the sdg group you know the united nations you know that anybody from across the world can share their views and their you know like a points you know if at as i know merit definitely there will be audience and it will be taken up okay for more details you can refer on this link some numbers Yeah, so net ODA total, you know, one hundred forty-seven point four billion in two thousand nineteen, almost unchanged from two thousand eighteen. But aid to Africa, you know, alone rose by one point three percent. The aid to other LDCs, low developed countries, rose by two point six percent. Well, COVID nineteen pandemic. If you see remittances to low and middle income countries, an economic lifeline for many poor households are projected to fall. you know very obvious regions you know there was loss of employment you know many, uh, many factories and you know like such commercial units you know were shut and uh, yeah people were left with no work and that has rendered into lower you know like earnings of their wages and yeah and subsequently lower remittances so 554 billion dollars in 2019 to 445 billion dollars in 2020 Global foreign direct investment is expected to decline by up to 40% in year 2020. Okay, so you can see, you know, like this impact of COVID-19, how hard, how hard it has, uh, like you know, like a uh, stuck, you know, to our economy, to the world's economy. Fixed broadband subscriptions for 100, you know, inhabitants in 2019. Developed countries 33.6, developing countries 11.2. So you can see this digital divide clearly visible. You know, like a it's one third of what you know, like a developed countries have. So if you see in a way, it's a long way to go. You know, to reach the goal of hundred percent, right? International funding for data and statistics was six hundred ninety million dollars in two thousand seventeen. Only half the level it needs to be. Okay, so you know more than like you know like a double of it is needed. you know to meet you know the target all of the ideas people technologies institutions and resources that are required to achieve the sdgs are already available and the task is how do we engage them and combine them in new and transformational ways so if you see in a, like a resource wise or resource idea wise framework wise you know tools wise right all of those things are there right so we are equipped you know we have ideas we have people we have technology institutions and even resources but the thing is how do we you know mobilize it and how do we bring you know like this transformational you know like a change right so that is what is you know like a needed you know to uh, actually achieve you know like all the sdgs so here what if we gave ourselves the permission to completely redraw the connections between the resources available to meet the sdgs what if we approached every single one of our encounters as opportunities to create new ideas and what if the best and most interesting ideas emerged from the most unlikely sources what new connections might emerge then so if you see this is the you know like a puzzle these are the sets of resources right but you know by sharing with you know like a different resource persons you know there may be you know different you know outcomes you know maybe amazing outcomes right so this is what it is being uh, you know like mentioned over here like new connections you know might emerge 
you know if we take help of you know like a more number of you know like a, a stakeholders and if we share it with more uh, number of people you know from different places you know they will bring in their new ideas you know new uh, implementation uh, maybe techniques and uh, it can maybe bear fruits yeah so who those you know like uh, who, who they can be like if you see so ngos and civil society businesses government parliamentarians international agencies united nations donors and foundations okay so what do they each uh, like you know like a carry what do they have what advantage you know, like do they carry so ngos and civil society if you see they may possess technical knowledge you know capacity you know access to and deep knowledge you know of communities like locally you know because they work at you know maybe one particular place you know so maybe they may be you know like a stronger in uh, you know local understanding local implementation tools techniques and you know like ways and methods you know so it will be very effective you know for achieving you know our goals legitimacy since you know they are part of the you know like a society you know they are coming from the society there is a higher degree of connection you know high degree of relevance and legitimacy you know plus they are our social capital you know and they have you know like a passion and they have you know this intention to work for people because these ngos are actually formed and non governmental organizations you know for sometimes like non uh, not for in like a profit you know like uh, purposes also with a you know like a pious intention of you know like serving you know their aims and objectives right serving the purposes you know of a public service right so we can definitely rely on like this set of you know, like a, you know assets okay next to businesses a market based or commercial value creation approach because you know business always looks from uh, you know like a uh, you know, like a benefit making perspective you know profit making perspective and value addition perspective also because you know like a, there will be you know like a, if you add you know like a value you can ask for you know like a, some additional you know like a charges for that right so it's a value driven actually you know like a intention of any business okay so maybe they can you know like bringing that you know like a capacity power of the brand and access to customer base since you know like these uh, businesses these brands you know they are already connected with you know like a huge number of people you know their customers you know and consumers you know they already have a huge base you know if we can utilize that you know then technical and process innovation because they keep on working uh, you know in a very frequent uh, you know like innovations and creativity and you know like changes you know to improve you know on their efficacy to prove on the results right so it will be you know like an amazing thing to you know like involve them for you know, like a process innovations next power of the value chain you know so they know actually this uh, you know like a demand supply and this whole you know like a value chain uh, you know like a connections so they uh, they can definitely like contribute in this infrastructure and logistics okay they are already having distribution network collection networks manufacturing bases transportation all of that okay so even that also can be like useful in some cases of course the government and parliamentation for obvious roles regulatory framework you know licensing you know etc integration with public systems they are the you know like public administrators okay are administrating groups okay so they know you know like these jobs actually better long term planning like making a you know, long term vision and schemes so in that sdgs uh, you know can go and inti get integrated capacity building for the public you know like educational institutions and you know, skilling institutions and several other training programs and you know, like things you know they keep on doing on a regular basis and they have this existing infrastructure that can be useful provision of land and supporting infrastructure since uh, you know in the public sector there is you know huge you know like uh, volume of you know like these things that can come to the rescue and of course it is democratic and legitimate you know like organization you know, elected by people you know which works for people you know by the people okay so then uh, it, it cannot be you know like a greater than this that the you know like direct public participation comes into the implementation strategies next international agencies united nations for technical support knowledge and experience because uh, they are the you know like a main organizers and main uh, you know like a conductor of uh, this whole uh, you know like a uh, uh, sdgs right so they have this technical uh, database you know knowledge and expertise and group of people are working and you know, along with them okay 
so that entire group you know becomes uh, you know like essential in this case legitimacy and impartiality since uh, un and international agencies you know they work uh, you know without uh, favoring or uh, you know not so favoring with any particular country right so this is an impartial uh, and uh, legitimate you know like organization you know keeping every country's you know interest in mind and it works globally internationally so that network you know like that uh, you know inter country you know like a connections political access is yeah through this you know one can have an access to any other you know like a member country finally in donors and foundations if you see funding and support in many cases foundations can be less risk adverse and support more experimental and innovative approaches providing proof of concept that can be extended by more traditional donors here we have you know like a two scenarios one siloed university and one like an open university so how it helps if you see you know like admissions academics uh, student affairs career services alumni relation they are all you know like centered only towards you know, like a students and another setup if you see you know one can have even interrelationship between you know like these you know like departments and sections okay so a truly you know like a systemic approach you know involving every like you know other member you know in these activities right implications of sdg 17 for the institutional and higher education sector in a handbook developed at the asian development bank adb institute tokyo terence morrison 2001 provided a framework for developing capacity building programs in which the use of experimental exper uh, experiential learning serves as a fundamental component of teaching pedagogy the handbook provides a framework of actionable learning that links three domains of learning emotion thought and behavior and underpins each with a growing capacity to learn how to learn so that is very you know essential part you know having this uh, you know like a intention of learning like since you all have joined this course i'm sure the biggest motivator you know is to learn you know what the sdgs are right so this learning actually intention comes you know the first and foremost if you have this intention definitely you will be learning many more things and in multiple ways you can make uh, use of you know, like these resources because learning never stops you know, it is it's not subjective to just schools and colleges or maybe a particular age right learning actually keeps on happening you know throughout your life as long as you are you know able to like you know like uh, uh, do you know like these things and you are able to you know like uh, uh, participate into this like so learning is always open learning never stops and that learning can actually you know empower you for you know like doing a lot of things you know in your daily life and meeting these sdgs also like you can you know empower yourself like how to you know like take up these assignments at local level in your own vicinity and locality and uh, work for it so for learning domain if you see what is you know like emphasized over here feeling thinking and acting so there are three you know like a columns so in feeling we have learning to sense learning to empathize learning to care well learning to sense and empathize and care what is sensing sensing is an uh, like you can call it as a uh, a guessing you know and uh, trying to figure out you know what is going on in a particular scenario in a particular place and empathizing what is empathizing empathizing is a, a kind of capacity where you without experiencing the real pain you if you can you know emulate you know what the next person is undergoing and if you feel that you know from your heart you know that's empathy so like if somebody is in a, some miserable kind of condition maybe you know like a physically or you know mentally or you know health wise or something okay if you can experience you know what pain he or she is undergoing okay you can you know uh, figure out you know the entire scenario and maybe you can deal with that scenario in an efficient way you know so empathy actually helps you you know understanding uh, the scenario in a much you know like a deeper way right so that is empathizing learning to care yeah again if you have you know like understood you know if you have figured it out you know then you can work for it right so that is you know learn, learning to care how do you work for you know like a you know like these things you know that is learning to care then for thinking learning to observe you know because with observation you can you know like a see a lot of things and uh, you can gather 
you know like uh, some information you can understand what is going on and you can notice you know some uh, you know like a phenomena and you can take some timely decision learning to uh, assess you know learning to reflect so assess is to take the stock of situation and analyzing it and reflecting is that if you uh, kind of introspect and ponder and then make some sense out of it based on your own uh, you know like analysis you know that is reflecting okay and if there is any need for change in your own understanding or learning you do that so that actually you know comes from learning to reflect then in the third column we have uh, you know like acting so learning to adapt so since you are able to sense observe and assess and reflect now it is the time that you adopt to it because in the society things are also changing if i give them one example right when uh, you know like a computer scheme everybody was worried you know computers are going to take away the jobs well definitely they took away you know, like a few people's job but they you know uh, gave you know like a interesting new opportunities also and they uh, kind of improved you know the working efficiency to many fold you know now all of those you know like a calculation based job or tabulation based job or you know internet based you know like a you know connections from one computer to another is being taken care of computers you know very easily right and uh, how much you know efficient they have made you know our lives and similarly if there is any new disruptive thing coming into the market right definitely one should you know be able to observe it assess it reflect it and adopt it that is one of the you know like a qualities also of uh, you know like a capacity building right second point here is you know the learning to change you know how do you change yourself how do you change your setting how do you change your you know own scenario to improve then finally learning to transform so transform means you know, changing into a much higher you know like a degree much higher sense changing into its maybe shape size and all of those kind of multiple you know like a dimension and aspects that's a transformation for example you know when a you know a pupa actually changes into a butterfly that's a you know, like total transformation like it's not even relatable and you cannot even recognize the same thing has transformed and changed into this one right so that's a transformation you know a total change you know of a high degree and then you know start living into the renewed scenario so if you see learning you know can happen at multiple levels okay not just for sdgs even in your uh, you know regular uh, study life professional life also you can keep your eyes and ears open and you can keep on learning and observing things and making use of it accordingly right that will be essential you know because this is the you know like a feature of you know like a learning and this is not age specific this is not subject specific this is not you know like a person specific this is universal right